But I can tell you, ladies and gentlemen, that Lizzie Simmons is actually inside British record pace here. So a little bit of support for Lizzie Simmons, and we may well see a British record established in the first swim of the night. So come on then, let's get behind her. So the British and Commonwealth record held by Gemma Spofforth. That's the mark she's aiming at, 2666. This is a cracking swim by Lizzie Simmons. Into the final five. Is the record just going to beat her up to the touch? Well, there it is. Simmons just missing out on the record. But 207.49 is a blistering swim. Fantastic time in that race. You must be really pleased. 207. Yeah, really, really pleased with that. Um, after not really being anywhere near that this year, it's definitely good to be... Back now, I'm near my best on that. Um, kind of went in a bit of a blur, to be honest, that race. Um, kind of finished in. Yeah, I was really, really pleased with it. So, Slowinski in lane four, who had major injury and illness problems last year, starting to get back to his best. And he, of course, is the British record holder for the 100 metres, swimming out of lane four and representing Preston, Stockport, ITC. And he's going well here. Slowinski with a powerful start in the middle of the pool in the red cap. Matt Shedd of Beckenham in that black cap right alongside him in lane five. And it's these two slugging it out as they approach the wall. Looks like Slowinski's got the measure of Shedd. No, Slowinski, yes, Slowinski takes it. 27.76 to win the... 50 metres breaststroke, and that is a lifetime best then for Slowinski. Fantastic time, 27.76, must be really pleased with that. Yeah, it's a lifetime best, I mean, when I set the British record, I was at 27.6, but obviously suit assisted, so Sean getting back there with some speed without a suit is it's promising. I mean, I've had a rough start to the season, I had knee operations, new year, so to get, you know, get back to where I am. Not doing a lot of gym work, so, I mean, I'm sticks and bones really at the moment, so hopefully I get a bit of muscle on at some point. Now then, you've got to ask yourself the question, can Amy Smith finally secure a place in the World Championships in Shanghai? She missed the spot by three one-hundredths of a second in the 100 earlier in the week, and she narrowly missed out in the trials earlier in Manchester. Smith with a good start in lane four. Hine in lane five going with her. And also Wilkins looking strong in three. But it's going to be Smith. She's got to beat a time of 25-4-3. Coming up to the touch. Oh, 25-4-6. She misses again by three one-hundredths of a second. 0 0.03 for the second time this week. That must be so annoying. Yeah, it is pretty frustrating. But, I mean, you know, it's still a decent time for me. It's on my PB, which... It's quite old, so I would have liked to have gone faster, to be honest, but I'm on the team and that's what I came here to do. Well, Adam Brown has already qualified for this event. Who's going to join him? 22.35 is the time to achieve, and Simon Burnett has gone off the block like a rocket here. He's still holding the challenge off as they're approaching the 15-metre marker. Remember the time to beat is 22.35. If they're going to go to Shanghai for the World Championships, up to the wall now and the touch. Burnett takes it. 22.24 by Burnett. And that means that Simon Burnett has qualified for the World Championships in Shanghai. Victory, and that should book the ticket for Shanghai. You must be really pleased. Very pleased with that. I uh, came in here not really knowing what to expect after uh, March, but uh, very really happy with that. Faster than what I thought I was going to go, so it just all clicked. Tad in the middle of the pool, looking positive in lane four. And uh, at the moment, she's second because it's Catherine Johnson of Edinburgh University leading in lane two. 32.69 is the split time. Now then, come on. We need some encouragement. Remember, they've got to beat 69.01 if they're going to make it to Shanghai. Here comes Tad now in the middle of the pool, coached by Mark Skimming, representing the University of Bath. Tad now beginning to turn on the style here and the rest clinging to her coach. Tails. Tad has ignited the burners big time. Look for the time. She's got to beat 69.01 if she's going to make it to the World Championships. Tad, 69.14, misses it by 13 one hundredths of a second. Stacey, second victory of the week. A nice PB for you there. Yeah, it's amazing. It's always good to do a PB, so I'm really happy. And I don't know if you heard as you are going out of the pool, but you're up into the UK top 10 now. You're number eight on the all-time list. So... We thought you were a distance swimmer, but these sprints are getting quicker. Oh, I'd love to be a sprinter, so I've got to try and prove myself to my coach. Um, but he won't let me be a sprinter. Not a chance.
55-1-4 is the mark they've got to beat. And 55-1-4 was the time Marco Lochran recorded in qualification. And Marco Lochran, remember, is the Welsh record holder. That's that 55-1-4 waiting to be ratified. So at the turn, it is Lochran, 26.60 in the middle of the pool, doing the good work here, but there's one or two others got their eyes on qualification as well. Lochran in lane four, looking good. One lane up in five is Chris Walker Hebben, winner of the 200 last night. Hebben trying to level up with Lochran now, and it's these two. And if anything, it looks as though Hebben is slightly stronger, and it could be Chris Walker Hebben that's going to take it. Let's have a look at it. Chris Walker Heaven takes it, and the finishing time 54.47. That is a qualification time for the Shanghai World Championships. Chris, big PB for you. That must be a bit relief. Yeah, I mean, it's been a great meet for me. Uh, there's no pressure on that, and it was just a matter of getting in and having some fun and come out with a PB. You can't really complain. So, Did it help having already qualified in the 200? Yeah, definitely. I mean, that was my main name coming here. Uh, and I managed to do that yesterday, so not so nervous coming in today and just thought, have a bit of fun, so. 18 years of age then, uh, Faulkner from the local club and the gap between the two. Well, it looks to be pegged to me. She got a good chance of holding off Miley there for the silver. Up to the wall again, Adlington leaving 50 to go. It's a virtuoso performance here then for the swimmer from the Nova Centurion Club, coached by Bill Furness. Rebecca Adlington into her closing 50. The national title waiting for her. She's already qualified, as I said, for the World Championships. Now, you people in the stand, in case you're not aware of this, we don't charge for applause. If you'd like to put your hands together to welcome home the Olympic champion, she's going to win here the British Gas ASA National Championship. Here she comes. It's an exhibition swim by Adlington, who stops the clock on 8.24.77. Becky, happy with the time, 8.24. That must be really good, considering you're all in training at the moment. Yeah, I'm in pretty hard training, so I kind of my target was to try and go under 8.35 and <laughs> managed to do that. Just. Yeah. But no, it was a really good swim. I'm so happy with that. And especially in hard training. I haven't been feeling that great this week either. So to pull off that when I'm not at my best, I'm not rested and I'm not too feeling good, gives me a lot of confidence going into Worlds. Affield turns first. Time for him, 3.15.9.3. And Smith going with him on 3.16.55. There's less than half a second between the two of them. And there's uh, three swimmers lining behind for the bronze medal. Mohammed at the moment still in the bronze medal position. But I wouldn't count on that because that could change. We're in for a grandstand finish here. What a cracker of a race this is. 50 metres to go on this turn. Here they come. Runner-up last year, Louis Smith trying to put Haffield under pressure. And he is doing well. Approaching the red marker with 25 metres to go, it's Louis Smith of Warren de Bass now going away from Thomas Haffield. Can Haffield respond? Look at the race behind for the bronze medal. Equally as exciting, Adam Harrington in lane six has moved into the bronze medal. Here comes Haffield again. Haffield trying to come back at Smith on the touch. Who's going to get it? So close. Victory going to Louis Smith. Lewis, um, what a race to finish off the session. That was, must have been great to swim in. Well, 400 AMs are never great to swim in, <laughs> but it was a good race. I knew my freestyle's been on good form, so when I was only just behind after the, the breaststroke, I knew I had a good chance of coming past him on the last 100.